I'm Rory. And who are you? I'm Sam. And and we're we're from Saint Sinner. We've got a new single on on the waves, as they say on the radio, on the on the airwaves. It's called Alone Together. It's it's in the waves, even. <laughs> Very good, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's all Thank right, you. mate. Thank you for having me. My oh, pleasure. So as you say, Saint Sinner premiered your latest single Alone Together last week through Heavy. So how's the early reception been for it? Oh, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. We like we haven't released anything in a, a year and a bit mm -hmm. that sounds all right yeah and so it's been all of the traction that we had from the last release is just gone am i allowed to swear in this interview if you don't i'm gonna hang up on you okay all of the traction <laughs> that we had from the last thing is fucking gone um <laughs> and and so the reception it has got anything would have been good so i'm just happy that there's like two people listening to it um i think it's a like Spotify's at like three, three and a half, three and a half thousand streams, which isn't, isn't, I like it. We like it. Yeah, very good. Actually, you wrote know, an interesting point there, guys. Like, it's these days, just people consume music that quickly that if you don't put things yeah. out like, rapidly, you, you lose touch. So, do you feel like you're starting over again in some respects? Well, it's funny you should mention that, Chris. <laughs> um, kind of. It's, it's, it's this weird thing. So, this song was the last of sort of a cycle. Um, because our band's been through like lineup change after lineup change after fucking like we changed lineups more than like I, I don't know I'm gonna make a funny <laughs> joke but I don't have it on top. <laughs> Someone who changes lineups a lot, but um, but this is the last song of like a cycle that we've been going through since like 2020, and in a way it was like starting again but at the end of a of a phase, um, which is is interesting. Um, and look, yeah, everyone's got ADHD now, including me. Like, if you're if a band that I'm listening to isn't putting out music like at least once every two to six months, I forget who they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm like in love. <laughs> uh, the title to you guys, I, I love it. It's very ambiguous and mysterious. So like alone together, it's a good play on words. Thanks. It, that was Sam's idea. He's an yeah, ambiguous and mysterious oh, man. Well, explain it on Sam. Yeah, go on, Sam. What does it? What does alone together mean? Well, I don't. I don't know. Rory. Uh, one day, Rory came to the practice and he said, "Let's call the song Alone Together." And I was like, "That's sick, bro." <laughs> so, in fact, I didn't come up with anything. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. You, you just um, wanted to talk, did you? You guilty saying everything, Rory. So you threw it over him so he could have a word. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Come on, Sam. Come on." <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. I'm. I, I'm a bit obsessed with like duality um and like saint sinner the the name of the band is sort of like a double negative with it within itself so alone together was kind of like a play on that a little bit love a bit of word play before word penetration mm -hmm. <laughs> i thought i was going to leave it first yeah <laughs> now, tell us about yeah. this from a musical point of view then guys and what you're going for with it um i think Initially, we were going for this kind of like uh, we used a lot of Nirvana as like a reference track, but everybody uses Nirvana as a reference track. I feel like if you've ne not used Nirvana as a reference track, then you're you're just not a band, so you should just quit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. but we yeah, so we 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 wanted we wanted sort of like a more modern, gritty, sort of dark nirvana sounding thing and it turned into i don't even really know what it turned into what do you think it turned into same thing i think it was just sort of like a um how we sort of felt coming out of lockdown mm. with all that and i don't know it, it's a bit messy but it's yeah she's a bit messy it is what it is she's a bit messy but yeah we um we coming out of lockdown being in lockdown that feeling of like being trapped in your house i'm sure everybody dealt with it and everyone sort of wrote about it and i was like well there's a bandwagon no i'm kidding <laughs> I, there was no bandwagon I was just really sad um but i think the like the son like sonically i wanted to sort of push this kind of like dirty feeling with the guitars and, and the drums being recorded the way they were in the bass and shit and vocals obviously um yeah, I think just trying to encapsulate that feeling of being locked in your house for what what was it like eight months living on You're long. government money. Just living on <laughs> government. <laughs> so is it a standalone song, guys, or is it part of a bigger picture? 
uh standalone yeah. just alone together single is is uh sort of like our way as rory said to just sort of like end the politics and all the drugs era that we had yeah with uh one last song and then the next thing we do is going to be a part of a a new thing a, yeah a bigger a bigger, bigger piece. thing because yep. we had the um we had the ep that came out in december uh no yes december was it december no it was halloween it was um october, october 2020 one and then we didn't release anything we just did a bunch of shows um and now it's like this like alone together is sort of the last song from that phase um and then there's other things in the cookery oh so speaking about that like you released your debut ep politics and other drugs in late 2021 yeah. so how, how has your sound changed or grown since then to the new material that you'll be writing going forward mm, the massively yeah. it's the only it's like it's like it's like the difference between it's it's, it's i think i think it's night and day um but I, I think it's night and day in a good way like i think where we're going is it feels exciting which which is how i sort of feel that's like we're on the right funny. track <laughs> that's <How? really> excited <laughs> <laughs> she just yeah, the cat is, he might just scream the whole time so i'm gonna grab him i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a donald trump and just grab him by the pussy and <laughs> as that sort of video but yeah no the um so the difference i think one of the big differences is that you know a the lineups changed we're using just a sort of different set different mind state for me for writing these these new ones and alone together, I feel like was a really good way of sending off that that era. It's, you know, it, it it did what it said what it needed to say. Yep. So, oh, cool. how about musically? Are you going to be changing much musically, or is it just the dynamics and stuff between like alone together and what is coming? Yeah, massively different. What would you without giving too much way? You got to tell us a little bit. Cheeky monkey, what <laughs> what do you think the biggest change is, Sam? I think um I mean we all the the members who are left in the band, we all have a a very different set of influences when it comes to what we bring and this new stuff we've all really been able to let those shine through and it's yeah. I think it's it's a very familiar sound for all of us coming into it, but mm. it's gonna be but it's also much different yeah for the band. Familiar sound to the members, but different for the band. How poetic! It's quite good. Isn't oh, it? It's a song in that. To put, <laughs> to, put to put simply, um, the boys Sam and Caleb have a metal band which is called Envoyed, which you they are going to release music and it's going to be fucking sick. I'll Free plug. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that genre of music has always been quite close to me. I'm a massive like I grew up on Horizons. Oh, Parkway, that was one of my favorite records. And so I was told, and this is going to be an ambiguous story, I was told, oh, you have nothing to offer a metal band. So I took that personally, and, and now you're going to see what's going to happen because I took that personally. Good. Tell them all to eat shit. Literally yeah. might. Might say eat, <laughs> eat, some, eat, some, eat some shit, devour eat bag, some eat shit. Eat a bag of dicks. Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> Hold back. Why stop at just one? <laughs> uh, so the sound of the band it, it is a cocktail of punk, metal, hard rock, and dark pop, guys. So how did that all come about? Was it something that was planned, or did you sort of throw everything against the wall and see what stuck? Um, yeah, I, I'd say that's a pretty good way to describe it. We yeah. were just throwing shit at the wall. Yeah, actually, we were. Like with the first EP in this song, it was like this is writing from a, a throwing poo standpoint and then the poo stuck to the wall and it was like cool songs and so and we recorded those with with the amazing tim mccartney at pale blue dot who i'm also going to plug he's a fucking legend um and yeah it, the, like that sort of fusion of sounds i think like sam said before just sort of came about sort of just happened because of the influences of the members at the time um and now going forward the decisions feel more deliberate and pointed and like edgier if that doesn't make me sound like an e-girl on the internet we'll so run with that <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you guys that mate? like is a release alone together you say it's, it's the end of an era and start of a new chapter yeah so what are you gonna hit us with next and can 
reveal what's happening? I can I can I can give you a hint. I can give you oh, I can give you hints and riddles and rhymes. Shit. They um it rhymes with with Pringle and um it also rhymes with shingle. MC. And it also rhymes with Chris <laughs> Pringle. Um and it's it's gonna and it also rhymes with Pringle? Uh hang on. What does the title rhyme with? <laughs> uh, the single rhymes with, with my cat screaming at the door. That's all you get. That's all you get. Very cool. There's gonna be there's gonna be, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some spooky shit and some 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 other shit that is there. Sounds like good shit to me. <laughs> so thank you. No worries. He hasn't even heard it. Very yeah, nice. What does he want? He I'll wants my it. liver or something. It's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> Well, make sure you keep in contact, guys, with what you're doing, because the sound does oh, get yeah. exciting. But in the meantime, Alone Together is out now. It's a cracker of a song, and I am looking forward to what you guys come up with in the future, mate. It sounds like it's going to be fun. I hope so. If you don't stream the single, I'll be really sad. So you should stream the single, or I'll be sad. So stream it, please. Do it. No Do it. Stream the single. Sad, Rory. So start streaming, guys. <laughs>